everyone, it's Jessica here. Today I'm busting some acrylic stash with some of my scrappy friends, so please be sure to check them out in the description below. And I'm starting this one off with some textured white cardstock for my background. I'm going to cut my, uh, my photo down here into a circle design using some nesting dies. I believe they're by Echo Park. They're called Stitch Circles. And I am just running this through my Big Shot. I actually ran it through four times, so I ran it back and forth twice, I guess, but that makes four times. Um, so so when I cut out my photos, I usually run them through a couple extra times because um, with the dyes, it does tend to take a little extra just to cut through a photo. So I don't know if it's like the, the texture of the film on there or the shininess of the paper or what it is, but it does take a little more, little bit more to run it through. So just a little tip for you. And then I'm going to cut a whole bunch more circles of various sizes in some of these patterned papers by Bella Boulevard. And I'm just going to map my big circle for my photo in some white. I'm just using my scissors to trim out around my photo because I don't have any dies that are bigger than this. So I'm just going to use my scissors. I'm going to actually distress the edges of this anyways, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to do the same with the black behind it as well. So there I've got all my circles. I'm going to just dress the edges of both of these. Um, I've already matted my photo to my white and then I just need to finish matting my um, photo and the white to the black here. So that's what I'm going to do next with my ATG gun. I'm going to put that about right there on my layout. Um, sorry about the shadow and my Matt is crooked. I'm just kind of all out of sorts here on this one. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just going to lay these circles out and scatter them around my page and kind of layer them on top of each other. I'm going to end up popping some of these up with some 3D foam tape. Um, but since this is for acrylic stash busting, there is my title piece. You can see it really well on this, um, on this video. But for some reason, when I edited the photos at the end of this video, um, you can't really see the title piece as well. I don't know if it's because I moved it onto the black a little bit further than what it's showing here or what, but maybe it's the way that I edited the photo, but um, yeah, it's really hard to see it on the finished layout, but the close-ups, you can tell that it's there, and you can tell that it's there in person, but for some reason, I just, it's hard to tell in the actual finished photo. But anyways, I'm doing some stamping here with some ink blot shop stamps and I'm just pulling out some of the circle ones and some of these little cute dots to kind of layer them up a little bit. I've used some distress oxides in bundled sage is the green one and then the black one is just black soot. So I'm just kind of layering these circles. I'm going to stamp that little grid design on some of them. I've stamped those little polka dots over and around some of them. And I'm just kind of getting a feel for where I want all of those circles to go. So I'm just doing my stamping in and around them. And um, I'm going to pull in a couple other stamp sets too by Ellie Studio here. So you guys know that I love all my little wordy bits on my uh, layouts. So I'm going to pull in one of the tab stamp sets. I think this is, was the daily tab stamp set, if I remember right. I can't see it because it's off my frame right now, but I think that's which one it is. And then I'm going to pull out some of this flare by Scrap and Happy Studio. These are some of the little mini epoxy flares. So they're not full size. They're just little. Little, but I'm going to use three of them today on this layout and I'm just going to scatter those for some additional circles and then of course I'm going to tuck some thread behind them like I always do. <laughs> Pulling out a stamp set by Vicki Booten. I think this one's from a uh, print shop collection and I'm just going to stamp some more circles in behind here. So I'm pulling out some Distress Ink in Chip Sapphire. So I'm just stamping around my little circles again, just kind of staggering them around the layout just to fill in some of that white space, <laughs> white space. The whole layout's white space basically, but you know what I mean. I'm just trying to fill in the center portion. I'm keeping everything mainly across the center of the page on this one. This one's gonna overlap or overlay off of the edge of the paper. So I'll go through and trim that off at the very end. And then here's my jumbo tape roll from ThermaWeb. I am just going to cut some strips off of it and use to pop up some of these circles and kind of make them 3D. And I'm just tucking that black one in there beside my photo. And then popping up a couple of these other little ones. 
So just continuing to adhere all of these down and kind of get my placement for all of my little flare, epoxy flares and um, little elements here. I actually didn't have to add too much to this. I had my Bella Boulevard um, die cuts here, my ephemera, but I actually didn't really use much of anything on this because I felt like these circles really uh, spoke for themselves and I really didn't have to add much to enhance anything. So I only added a couple things. So there's another stamp set by Ellie's that I've just pulled out. I think that one's called Autumn Days, if I remember right. And I'm just stamping all of these cute little wordy bits on here, as I mentioned before. So I'm just getting all those down. I'm kind of um, stamping all those in black. So I'm just using Close to My Heart Black. And um, yeah, I'm just staggering these as well. So everything's just kind of random, but organized, if that makes sense. I'm going to pull out this stamp set. This is from actually, uh, this is Vicki Booten one, but it's from the Sweet Brush collection. So it's a little bit older, but I love this little binder clip. I just really, really need Vicki to make a die for this. Please make a die for this. I don't like having to cut this out. I hate fussy cutting, but I will make an exception for this because it's super cute and I love it. I just need to like sit down and do a million of these in different colors so I have them for layouts and then I'll have them ready and then I won't have to complain about doing it every time. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to put that on the center. It looks really cute on the center but I kind of wanted to stagger something else with it so I ended up moving it to the side here in a little bit. I'm digging through my acrylic stash here. I've pulled out a couple other bits that I thought may, might go with this layout, but I ended up using that little star from Ellie Studio. I have two of those stars left and the one was green, so it matched with this layout. And then I've pulled out a couple of these cameras. No idea where they came from. I had them in my stash forever. And I just decided to throw those on here and then I'll glue them down with some Nuvo glue here in a moment. And I'm just stamping these cute little stars here. Um, this is from that autumn stamp set as well. So I'm gonna go back through and draw an outline around the bigger stars with a black pen. But I'll go ahead and stick my photo down because I know that's exactly where I want it to go and I'm ready for that to be stuck down. And I'm still playing around with that binder clip to see where I wanna put it. But you'll see what I do with that. I fill that empty space here in a minute. And then I pull out this little circle punch. This is actually like a tab punch for um, like your holes on tags and things like that. So this is just a reinforcement punch, but I actually really like to punch these out and kind of crinkle them and make them look distressed and then just glue them to my layout for dimension. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. My daughter is now standing up. She's, what, 10 months old? Uh, yeah, 10 months old. And she's standing up and she just pulled all my stamp sets off of my desk beside me, which it was only like three of them, so it's fine. But she's sitting on the floor playing with them right now. So she's having a blast. <laughs> she is totally into all of my things now. I call her the rummager because she loves to rummage through all my scrapbook supplies. And I literally, when I'm working on a layout, I literally put my supplies away in my cart beside me and in my cabinet beside me probably at least five times while I'm down here working on one layout from her just constantly pulling everything out. And, you know, once she pulls everything out and kind of sorts through it and does her little rummaging, <laughs> she's done playing with it. So... I put it back in so she can do it all over again and she just loves it. But she's not hurting anything and she's having a blast. So I don't mind it, but it's just, it's a lot of time to do one layout whenever I spend a lot of that time cleaning up. So here I'm just pulling out some of the gold Heidi Swap Color Shine. This is my absolute favorite. I actually lost it for a while and I just found it. And um, it's funny because my friend Wendy actually sent me hers because I lost mine and she never used hers. So I've been using hers, but I just found mine. So I just pulled that out since it was sitting here beside me. There I am going and um, gluing down my title piece. It says Fresh Air with my Nuvo Liquid Adhesive. And I'm going to go ahead and glue down the rest of my acrylic pieces at this time. You see that I filled in beside that binder clip there with that little farm sign. That's from Bella Boulevard as well. Um, this is all from the EIEIO collection, if you're curious. So that's what I've used today. 
and I'm just tucking some thread as usual behind my flare. I like to use glue dots, so I like to make a little glue dot sandwich and put one on the flare itself, then the thread, and then another glue dot to stick it to the page and kind of holds everything together. So I'm just twiddling around, getting it to where I like it, and just sandwiching it between those glue dots. And sometimes I like to glue down these little tails with some Nuvo glue. It'll dry clear, so I don't need to worry about that. But I like to glue down those tails sometimes if they're kind of laying exactly how I want them and a little bit curly. So I want them to stay that way. So sometimes I glue them down. So I'm just going to place this last one down. This is a little tire. I thought it was so super cute. <laughs> my um, my photo is actually of my husband and my son in 2019. So he was only about a year old, a little bit older. And um, they were on a tractor ride and um, just moving the brush hog from up in the upper field where it's stored to one of the lower fields where he was going to um, actually mow with it. But he got to go for a little tractor ride while he was moving it from place to place. And then I grabbed him off of there. <laughs> so I just added some sequins from Not Just For Boys Kit Club. As you can see, they're all on there. I didn't add a whole lot because I didn't want that to be the main focus. And then I'm just stamping my date with one of my date stamps. So um, that's pretty much it. This is what it looks like. I'm actually gonna do one more thing to this layout. I thought it still needed something around the border. So I'm gonna rough up these edges um, a lot. So I'm actually kind of digging into the paper as I do this with my edge distressor. So I create notches in the paper. And then I am going to back this with a sheet of black cardstock. I have a lot of black cardstock that um, came in page protectors at one point that's like not really good quality. So I like to use it for stuff like this where I just use a whole entire piece and I don't care that I've wasted all of it basically um, because it's just like I said, it's not good quality. So I won't use it on a layout, um, but something like this, that's what I like to use it on. So here's the finished layouts. Um, again, make sure you check out my friend's creations. They're linked below for you. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and it gave you some inspiration for how to use up that acrylic stash. And thank you guys so much for being here and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.